Can you use maths to make actual drawings? Well, my friends, the answer is on the left side of my screen, and I'll show you it right now. So yes, the answer is yes. You can actually shape every kind of possible functions in order to make your own drawing or even writing as I did here. So today I have a lot of projects to share and discuss with you, starting from this one. Of course, the subject is so complicated that I'm not going to explain it in detail, so I'm sorry for that. I used here a whole family of similar functions called in mathematics inverse trigonometrical functions. The arc cosine, the arc sine, and the arctangent, and by shaping their arguments you can get several slopes, several behaviors, so that you can sketch everything. Here I, I'll just describe the y, it's made like an arcosine of something that depends on x raised to the absolute value of something that depends on x. So the actual behavior is pretty weird, it's just unpredictable. Here we have a deep slope here and then an almost vertical line. So this is just crazy, but of course you can make everything you want. For the smile I use just some circles, simple circles and uh, an arc here. Let's start from the first project, the yin yang symbol. A um, very important symbol according to Chinese philosophy that is believed to hold the very meaning of the whole universe. Here, it's just a symmetrical drawing that I shaped with circumferences, black and white. You can also paint with this program. Of course, I'll post everything in the description. And another interesting symbol here is when you're in danger, the nuclear danger symbol. These are pretty simple of course because you can just draw some circumferences sorry, and then you can uh, exploit the angle here that is about 60 degrees, 60 degrees and 60 degrees. So the whole space in is cut in six sections, three black and three white. But every mathematician loves pi, me too, to be fair. And I also realized a pi using arc cosine here. And that's it. It's pretty nice. The arc cosine is just smooth and has a curvature at the ending. So the final result is going to be elegant and light. Just beautiful. These are some hook shaped functions that I did by raising x to the power of x inside the arc cosine. And in a similar way as I did for the yes function, I used uh, an x raised to the absolute value of x to make this leg, the right leg of pi. Another interesting symbol is the heart, and it's pretty simple to say the least. Here I have a square root that realizes the first part of my heart here, the up part. And the arc cosine realizes the lower part. The absolute value grants me to have a symmetrical drawing here on the vertical line. And the minus pi here is in order to make the arc cosine make down. Of course, if I eliminate the mi minus pi, the arc cosine will squeeze up. And this is just a weird heart, you know. We don't want that. That's just better. 
but if you flip upside down your own art what do you get? <laughs> I know it sounds weird but you get the spades symbol another symbol dealing with cards it's just an upside down heart with a uh, a leg here this is pretty interesting I did a segment uh, which length is one just by dividing an arc sign over an arc sign they are pretty similar so they, their ratio is almost equal to one in every possible point these are pretty simple projects but if you want something more complicated and colorful why don't you think of a tulip here is a whole tulip it's pretty nice this is the easiest function actually 5 arc sine of 1 over 10 x to the power of 4 and uh, it just paints the soil and the bulk of my tulip the leaves are made in a similar way like the E in my yes function as you can see here they are just the same function and I painted them in green these segments are made by jointing two points inside the leaf and the upside part is pretty complicated you can see here I use the e raised to the power of something that depends on x times an arc sine for both the side of my flower but you can go even farther you can make uh, an even insane more insane drawing an elephant a whole elephant this is just wonderful my favorite and uh, it took me about two hours to realize and it's very it's very complicated you know because uh, here I use some mathematical tricks in order to get the trunk in foreground I just multiplied some functions for a square root of something divided by the same square root of something this actually doesn't change everything anything in the value field but will shape the domain so if I do multiply this square root for this functions this function stays the same but some some points will not be painted I don't know if that is clear of course the high is made by a circumference that I painted in black and the pose here the body is made like an arc sine of x to the fourth power minus x to the second power the tail is made by two similar functions that are called here p and s with one they're the same here on the second one I use the trick as I explained before the weirdest functions the weirdest function of them all is this one the arc cosine of something that depends on x times an arc tangent of something that depends on x raised to the power of 5 this is just crazy but you know with trial, trial and error you can actually reach everything and I just um, use this function I don't know randomly it appeared me this curve that just resembles an elephant head so that's all for today I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I'll publish them uh, on my description and see you in the next video guys